Hello everyone, my name is Alex and you are watching Dynamachine channel. Today I will tell you the most interesting fact about Ankylosaurus and show you its animatronic figure, which was made by our team. In popular culture, many have seen Ankylosaurus in the Jurassic Park movie series, but do you know it also inspired the creators of the Godzilla movie? There, Ankylosaurus is the ancestor of the mutant monster Anguirus, which appears in seven Godzilla films. For the first time, the public started talking about Ankylosaurus after the World's Fair in New York in 1964. It was there that its life-size reconstruction was presented for the first time, and now it has inspired us to create an animatronic model of it. Discovery Barnum Brown discovered the first Ankylosaurus fossils back in 1906 in the Hell Creek Formation. The bones and the remains of the shell of this dinosaur were located next to the bones of T-Rex, and therefore, at first, Brown assumed that it was T-Rex, who was covered with bone armor. Interestingly, even in a dinosaur-rich formation like Hell Creek, Ankylosaurus bones make up only 1%. There is no complete skeleton of the species that has been found to date. After returning from the expedition, Barnum Brown began to study the discovered bones. He attributed the top of the skull, a pair of teeth, fragments of the shoulder, ribs, vertebrae from the back and tail, and more than 30 fossilized skin fragments to Ankylosaurus. This turned out to be enough to present the first description of Ankylosaurus to the scientific community in 1908. Appearance Before building a model, we carefully study all the information about this dinosaur and pay special attention to its appearance and anatomy. And Ankylosaurus got its name just because of its looks. Literally, its name translates as bent or soldered lizard. To some, he even resembles an, an overgrown armadillo. Ankylosaurus was a large squat dinosaur the size of an African elephant. His paws were positioned perpendicular to the ground and the hind legs were slightly longer than the front ones. At the moment, not a single Ankylosaurus foot has been found, and all the drawings that you see are just an assumption based on what the feet of its closest relatives look like. In our production, we can create a dinosaur model based on the skeleton alone. Our craftsmen know the anatomy and design models taking into account the peculiarities of attaching muscles to bones. Paleontologists suggest that Ankylosaurus was cold-blooded and had a very good nose. 60% of his brain was occupied by olfactory bulbs. Such a developed sense of smell helped him to look for food, dinosaurs of the opposite sex, and it also helped to sense the approach of predators in time. The sense of smell of Ankylosaurus can be compared to that of a T-Rex but his olfactory bulbs were even larger, as they occupied about 70% of the major hemispheres. Ankylosaurus had massive horns on its head and sides. Some people in the internet believe that because of this, its skull looks like Zool from Ghostbusters. And when creating our Ankylosaurus, we paid special attention to its face. Its mouth was like a beak, and there were weak little teeth inside. Because of them, Ankylosaurus was not able to chew food thoroughly, so it formed a special structure of the stomach. It was better adapted to digesting poorly chewed plants. The most interesting feature of Ankylosaurus is its armor, consisting of bone plates. An interesting fact, the creators of Jurassic Park wanted to make it bulletproof, but the paleontologists who acted as consultants were against it. I wonder why. These plates and growths were not part of its skeleton, but were firmly embedded in its body. All of them were connected to each other by special stirrups, which is why the dinosaur was called soldered. Ankylosaurus armor performed not only a protective function, it also participated in helping it regulate its body temperature and help him disguise itself. This information helped us to choose the optimal color palette for our model. Since many models are exhibited outdoors, we think not only about color, but also about protection from the sun and rain. The body of the Ankylosaurus ended with a strong tail with a mace, the length of which was about 50 cm. It served the dinosaur for protection from small-sized enemies. With its tail, it could easily break bones or knock them down. Therefore, we thought of his movements in advance so that we could demonstrate exactly how this tail moved. Lifestyle 
For a herbivorous dinosaur, Ankylosaurus led a very belligerent lifestyle. A recent discovery was able to tell scientists more about this. In May 2014, an unusual Ankylosaurid skeleton was discovered in Montana, which was named Zool. It has preserved not only bones, but also soft skin tissues. There were injuries on his carapace that only the mace on this tail could have left. And these injuries appear to be at different stages of healing. This suggests that Ankylosaurus were constantly fighting among themselves. Similar behavior is typical for modern reindeer, bison, and sheep. So, it is most likely that Ankylosaurus not only chewed grass, but also actively defended their territory from competitors. As I said before, Ankylosaurus was a herbivore. Scientists estimated that it had to eat about 60 kg of greens per day. Its diet included ferns, leaves, and soft fruits. However, some scientists believe that it could have fed on carrion and eggs of other dinosaurs. Herbivorous animals were characterized by a gregarious lifestyle, but Ankylosaurus is rather an exception. Ankylosaurus's enemies were large carnivores like T-Rex, but because of its sturdy armor, it was far from the easiest prey. Voice When our model is ready, we conduct a separate research to find out which voice to add to its library. Scientific publications help us in this. For example, we learned that the anatomical structure of the larynx of an ankylosaurid is similar to that of a bird, therefore it made a wide range of sounds, including rumbling and even grumbling. It could even roar, which is more familiar to movie fans. But it definitely couldn't sing like a bird. This sound, taking into account the size of the trunk and respiratory organs, will turn out to be different, or like a grunt. In order for this sound to be most profound and interesting, we resort to the services of a sound engineer. After their work, our craftsmen come into play, who synchronize the movements of the dinosaur with the sounds it makes. As you can see, such scarce fossils did not prevent paleontologists from describing this dinosaur. From their research, we learned not only about its appearance, but also about its lifestyle. As it turned out, Ankylosaurus could make a lot of sounds and often fought with other Ankylosauruses. All this knowledge helped us to make the animatronic model as realistic as possible. Comment what dinosaur you want us to make next.